What's up, y'all? It's Dirt Track Boys. I know I ain't been on here in a while, but uh, I've got some, uh, well, kind of sad news in the NASCAR community. Um, as y'all know, Martin Truex is a partner, Sherry Pollux who died of a long-standing illness with uh, cancer. Um, a few years ago, she had to shave her head because of the cancer was bad. So, uh, just so y'all know about that, um, She passed away this Sunday. Um, I'm sure Martin Truex is... I would say he's not... He's probably still a little bit, you know, mad about, upset about it. Because, um, you know, they, they were together for a long time. Um... So this weekend, the NASCAR playoffs will be in Texas. I believe it's Texas. Yeah, it's in Texas. So hang on a minute. I. <clears throat> So, so this is going to be in uh, the Texas Motor Speedway. Um this weekend in um, the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Denton County, Texas, if you ask where the track is. Um, who's your all's pick to win the uh, 2020 23 championship? I mean, I, I think William Byron and, and Kyle Larson are probably the best, best out of the Hendrick camp. I hated that Ke that Ke uh, yeah. Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott didn't make it in, but you know Chase had a substantial injury this year, so the skiing incident this past February up in California. So, or when he went to Colorado now. Chase is an experienced skier. That's got nothing to do with it. Um, fact is, I don't exactly know what happened, but anyway, um, Chase Elliott um, broke his tibula. Which is a muscle in your leg somehow. I don't know. But, um... So, anyway... This is uh, Dirt Track Boys, and I just wanted to give you guys... A little bit of an update on, uh... What do y'all think of this... New news? Well, it's probably not new if y'all heard about it. We're not going to go to the dirt next year at Bristol. NASCAR has decided that the dirt racing at Bristol is, um, you know, kind of been off a little bit. So NASCAR has decided to stay away from dirt next year. Now, this coming up next November, 
I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you guys are in the Phoenix area, I'd like to get to know y'all. See what y'all think about the Hendrick camp. Um, any other drivers and all that. I hope my YouTuber friend DJ Wayne is up there. Give a shout out to DJ Wayne if y'all are up there. I don't know if he'll be in Phoenix or not because he's, he's a local North Carolina. But uh, like and hit his channel, DJ Wayne Adventures. And uh, you know to my pal, Bro Mikey, I uh, appreciate, I just want to say I appreciate the shout out about the shirt because... Uh, like he said, it was from one of my best friends that I grew up basically with through, basically through I, middle school all the way through high school. And he unfortunately passed away of uh, chest complications at just 41. So, um, if you guys are, uh, out there listening to this keep your keep all your stuff in check i mean get get checked you know go to the doctor regularly um especially if you're older i mean i know people say uh you ain't that old or nothing like that but sad truth is they may say that because they forget how how they were in their 40s and I live in a building that is subbed up too early. I I live in a building that is an elderly community. It's a bunch of elderly, and you know they forget how old they were when uh, they uh, took their you know thing. So, y'all, uh, take care of your health. I mean, because if you get, like me, I, I'm, I'm bipolar d disorder. And mental illness is one of the worst. I, I, I'm telling you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. I wouldn't wish a, men a mental illness on anybody, let alone a physicality. Um, I, no, I, I wouldn't li list, lit that ah, crap. I wouldn't leave this on anybody. But I just want to know what y'all's take are on, uh, Martin Truex and the things he's probably going through right now. Um, hit up in the comments on, uh, to let me know how... Y'all think about that. And what do y'all think about this chase format? Do, do, do you think NASCAR needs to go back? Do, do you think NASCAR needs to go back to, uh, back to its roots? Do you think NASCAR needs to get away from the chase and... Instead of these elimination races at different tracks, I, I think we need to keep keep the All Star at Charlotte, I, and I think we need to go back to. Here's my opinion. This is only an opinion. I'm not. I'm not the president of NASCAR. I'm not a vice a vice of NASCAR. But here's my opinion. Do y'all remember? In the mid 2000s, between oh about 2009 to around 2000, about 2014, how NASCAR would have a NASCAR race day which they still do, but it's nothing like it used to be. 
how they had NASCAR race day. And during the All-Star weekend, week, they had the pit crew challenge at the, uh, oh, shoot, I forgot where it was. Anyway, it was in Charlotte. Now, they do the pit crew challenge from the track. Now, I don't think that's a, a pit crew challenge. I think what they ought to do is they ought to go back to Charlotte, North Carolina, have the pit crew challenge at the University of Charlotte, um, or wherever in North Carolina, and have the all-star qualifying the way they used to do it. When I'm talking about all-star qualifying, I'm talking about you take three laps during the all-star. Three laps. And by the time the third lap is over, you have to come in and make a mandatory four tire pit stop during your qualifying lap. That qualifying bases off your time. Now, the times now are absolutely absurd. The reason I think these cars are not dialed in properly is because there ain't enough time for practicing. You go from practice straight into qualifying. And if your car ain't dialed in, it ain't dialed in. But we're going straight from the track, straight from the truck to the track. No morning practice, no, no happy hour, nothing. I mean, yeah, I think it was a uh, part of the pandemic that got that kind of going. But uh, if you guys think that this NASCAR has fallen to the wayside, wake up, people. Have you seen the track sellouts? Have you seen Daytona the last two years? Bristol the last couple of years. Now, granted, we're being all, we're staying away from the dirt this year, or, or next year. And speaking of staying off the dirt, I get NASCAR had a, had a seventy, yeah, has history with the with the dirt, but. For God's sake, it ain't broke like Daryl Waltrip said about Bristol Motor Speedway. If that track ain't broke, quit fixing it. What we ought to do to Bristol is we ought to go in there and rip out the asphalt again. And bring in the old asphalt from 2007 and get rid of this progressive banking bullshit and get rid of that traction crap because that traction shit I don't know what that does I guess it rubbers up the racetrack but it's not a groove it's not a racing groove Bristol has always been a one groove racetrack Never a single groove, never a two groove racetrack. I mean, I remember going to Bristol races in the day where you would have to literally chase the car around the track for 500 laps because you were eating up that much alive. And I'm telling you right now, yeah, driver sweat. But think about this. Six or eight years ago, 
We didn't have stage breaks for long runs or for short runs. So you had to muscle that car around that boring for over for about five hundred times. Now it's five hundred laps, but the but the rate but but the races at Bristol and Martinsville go by fast. And Martinsville is an old track in Richmond in uh, Henry County, Virginia. My bad, I'm sorry. Uh, it is Henry County. Yes, Henry County, Virginia. Atlanta Motor Speedway, Hampton, Virginia, Henry County, Georgia. <laughs> but, and Richmond is in Virginia also, but it's in Henrico County. I said Henrico. Um, but no, I mean, what do y'all think about, about these uh, changes next year? You know, I'm, I'm kind of liking them. And speaking of liking, say what y'all want about the new race car. But every new race car has to get the bugs out of it. And what do y'all think about Noah Gra uh, Noah Gregson? About John Hunter with joining the Legacy Motor Club <laughs> with uh, Eric Jones. I think it's a good move. Um, and Kevin Harvick will be up in the box next year with Clint Boyer and Mike Joy for uh, NASCAR on Fox. And I also remember... Growing, not growing well, kind of. I also remember being a little, I also do remember that when NASCAR started NASCAR on Fox, they used to have this gopher called Digger. If y'all know who Digger is, let me know in the comments. They used to have this cam called the Digger Cam. And it'd be right on the racetrack. But the camera angles they use now are good, but they're not as good as they were. So the digger cam went away, I'm going to guess, in about 2015, maybe 2016. But. The earliest I can know is when NASCAR went to the dirt at Bristol. I, I just don't know. I hope the March race is better because as of a couple of years ago, it's been pretty good. But the attendance for spring you know, and the rain and the weather, it's kind of iffy up in Bristol. So, again, it's dirt track, boys. I just want to see what y'all think about this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, we'll try to get more videos out. Sorry it's been a minute, but I've been busy with other, other stuff. Um, again, dirt track boys, peace out y'all, I love you, and we'll see you in the next few videos with NASCAR news, uh, but anyway, another thing real quick, be, have thoughts and prayers for the Martin Truex, uh, for Martin Truex and his family, and for also for Sherry's family as well.
But, uh, alright, guys. I love y'all. Hit me up. Nerd Track Boys out. Love y'all.